In this video, I'd like to show you how to import a DXF as a background in Risa Floor. This model is a good example of why you might want to use a DXF as a background. So we can see here, this is an isometric view. Let's take a look at the plan view and let's take a look at the actual floor plan. And what you've got in this model here is some odd geometry. So a way to uh, bring this in maybe with the circular area, um, if you had any other irregularities, uh, you can do a drawing grid or a project grid, but a, a nice way is if you've already done an AutoCAD DXF, you can just save that and import it right in and have an ability to draw on top of that. So let's try that. I'm gonna start a new model and I'm gonna create a new floor plan. So I'll just leave the defaults there, but I'm gonna give it a 10 foot elevation, say okay. Now automatically the program wants me to create this project grid because that's the easiest way for you to do data entry. But like I said, in this case, what we're gonna try to do is import a drawing grid instead of using the project grid. So I'm gonna close that, and instead of using that, we're gonna go straight to the draw, drawing grid modification. So the drawing grid, you have options like rectangular grid, radial grids, but if you've got that DXF, you also have an option here, import DXF. Now, in the import DXF, you can drop that in exactly in the 00, zero or any origin location you want. You can also set up here, you need to set the DXF import options for uh, your parameters of your DXF. So the scale factor and the units that are required there, what the DXF plane is gonna be coming imported in. And now the other issue is here is the angle increments. So you, in our model we just saw, we had an, a circle. And that circle gets broken up into a certain amount of increments each angle. So we have a five degree increment angle right now. And that means that every five degrees it'll be a segment that we can click to. And we'll see that in just a second. Now I'm gonna browse to find the file. And I just stuck the file right in my Risa drive, but you can locate it wherever you need. And say open. And when you're in here, now we can import all the layers or we can choose the different layers we want to import. So just by checking things on and off, it will import those layers uh, based on the check mark. You can also change the colors. So this is a gray default, but you can click on that gray and choose a different color if you want to import a different color per layer. I'm gonna leave the default and say done. And as I go there, I import automatically this DXF drawing. And we can see that it looks just like my building previously, um, with as a, just a drawing grid. So it's just a gray background. Now, what I can do at that point is draw by clicking on these grid intersections. So if I wanna draw some columns in, I'm gonna draw some, some uh, steel columns right into my model, just some wide flanges. You can see that I'm, I'm able to click on the model anywhere that there's an intersection. So I can use my fence tool to click, uh, to highlight several different areas here. I'm gonna just fence that and I'll be able to click on that wherever that those that rubber band goes or I can click on an individual location for example the other thing I can do here is in the circular area like I mentioned earlier you can click on anywhere the five degrees there that's what we indicated the segments to be I'm also clicking on intersections so wherever a circle hits another line that's a, an, a point that I can click on so you have the ability to click on all of these different locations in order to lay out your building. So to review, well the way we did this was to go back into here, this modify the drawing grid and choose the import DXF there and then follow all the parameters and import your file.